This is Kia Sophia. She's our nine-year-old Basenji. Basenjis are known to be exceptionally difficult to train. Training Basenjis is not easy. It takes time and dedication to train their aloof personalities. Good boy. The first step was deciding on an effective reinforcer, and I chose chicken livers. From page 13 to page 16, Karen Pryor's book, Don't Shoot the Dog, details the importance of establishing a clicker as a conditioned stimulus. The clicker acts as a bridging stimulus in order to bridge a gap between the time that the target behavior occurs and the time the reinforcer is given to the animal. First, the clicker must be established as a reinforcer even though it has no inherent reinforcing value. This can be done by building an association between the clicker and the reward. I'm cutting up the reinforcer and we've already found that she really, really likes them. She's following me around, um, so obviously she'll work for them, and I'm building the association between the condition stimulus and the reinforcer. So, again, even though she's not doing a target behavior right now, I'm just building that association. And she loves them. A crucial part of conditioning a new behavior is to prevent superstitions from forming. It's important to keep this in mind throughout the process of clicker training. Okay. So I'm trying not to establish any superstitions with her. So, Kia, come here. Come here, honey. Come on. So I want to have her, she's been sitting the entire time, and I'm kind of worried that she's going to build an association between sitting and getting the reward, and I don't want that to happen. Um, so I'm making sure she's standing sometimes and laying down sometimes and, you know, walking around sometimes, and Kia. Yeah. I don't want to condition any one behavior right now, uh, because I'm still in in the phase between associating the conditioned and the unconditioned stimulus. Let me get a little more. Up, up, up. Oh, okay. I guess she's done. <laughs> she might need to poop. Yeah, we'll, we'll do more later. Before beginning your training sessions, make sure you're setting your dog up for success. Distractions like the preparation of a Thanksgiving dinner force me to put off training for a day. But trying to run trials with your pet when more interesting things are going on is just going to result in frustration for both you and your pet, which could actually hurt your future success. Pryor also suggests that you have a dog who is willing and eager to learn. A dog that skipped breakfast is probably best. A dog that's this overfed? Maybe not. Next, I begin training by successive approximation. First, I want her to be comfortable jumping on the ottoman I placed in front of the piano so that interacting with the piano will be a more natural next step, rather than a giant leap. Pryor explains and details behavior chains from page 85 to page 90 of her book. It's going to take a while. Come on. Come on. Come on. Waiting for her to figure it out herself. There we go. Okay, so we have the right behavior. I'm going to have to have her come down so I can teach her to go up again. Okay, good. Okay, so we've got her going up. And again, like I said later, I'm going to add the vocal cue up. getting more immediate. Yeah, okay. It didn't take long before getting out the liver treats became a discriminative stimulus for Kia to sit in front of the piano. Unfortunately, getting her to place her paws on the piano was a tremendous difficulty. 
This was a behavior that had been punished frequently in the past, and despite the temptation of the reward, it took a great deal of time for her to actually climb onto the keyboard to receive the treat. I wish I had gotten that moment on camera, but sadly I gave up on recording due to her many failures, and I missed the first breakthrough. I do, however, have the footage of the following training sessions, where I began establishing the vocal cue, play piano, in association with the target behavior. Play piano. Once Kia had an idea of what behavior I was reinforcing, I began to move the reinforcer away from the piano so there was less targeting involved and more thought required on her part. Yes! Without putting the treat up there. Good girl. Good girl. I probably shouldn't have given her that one, but okay, come on. Let's do it again. We'll do it again. Okay. Kia, play piano. Play piano. Mm -mm. Play piano. Good girl. Good girl. Of course, moving the treat she was working for away from the area where I wanted her to perform the target behavior did cause some challenges along the way. This was the first time I'd ever really moved into an activity that required Kia to perform an action that she didn't see as directly related to getting the treat. I should probably point out that Kia has never been trained to do anything before in her life, making her an especially difficult training candidate. Play piano. Mm -mm. Play piano. Play piano. Mm -hmm. Come on. Play piano. So if you know what you have to do, play piano. Play piano. Oh, honey. Come on. Sophie. Play piano. Play piano. Good girl. No, good, good. Sorry, I rewarded too soon. Good girl. That's a good girl. There we go. Good. Okay, we're going to do it a couple more times. See, she's getting better. She's getting a little better. Okay. Play piano. So, play piano. Play piano. Play piano. Nope. Play piano. Gotta hear some sound. Play piano. Good girl! Good girl! Yes! She's a good girl! Yes, she is. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Play piano. Play piano. What are you thinking about? Play piano. Good girl. Yeah. Just thinking about it. No, she's smelling liver. She's thinking you dropped some over there. Play piano. Go ahead, Sophie. Play piano. Go ahead, Sophie. Play piano. Come on, honey. Play piano. Oh. Yeah. Play piano. Come on, Gertie. She wants it so bad. She goes, I can sing. Play piano. Come on, Gertie. Play piano. Good. But despite the rough patches, which were probably partially my fault anyway, since I'm learning how to train a dog for the first time too, she really did improve drastically in a very limited amount of time. Come on. <laughs> no. She's trying piano. to fool you. Good girl! Good girl! Yes! Yes! Let's see if she does that again. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Don't reward that. Did you notice that? Here, Kia exhibited a behavior I really didn't expect, but it's also one Karen Pryor discusses. On page 73, Pryor explains how you can tell when a behavior is under perfect stimulus control by four major points. 
1. That the behavior always occurs on the presentation of the CS. 2. That the behavior never occurs in the absence of the stimulus. 3. That the behavior never occurs in response to some other stimulus. And 4. No other behavior occurs in response to this specific stimulus. Kia violated the second of these golden rules, demonstrating that her behavior is still not under perfect stimulus control. Play piano. Oh, it's so hard. I don't want to work. Play piano. Good girl. Good girl. She knows. She's just stubborn. That's a good girl. Good. Okay, thank you. That's not... It stopped for a minute and then started recording again. Play piano. She's confused because I'm not rewarding it when I don't give the vocal cue. And so she's like, I'm doing it. What do you want? Play piano. You had it right. Play piano. Mm -hmm. Come on, son. Play piano. Good girl. Good girl. The better her performance became, the further I tried to back away while still giving her the command. Girl. There's a good girl. There's the is. Okay. Alright. Play piano. Play piano. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, oh my. I'm trying to take all the drinks. Okay. Okay, so play piano. I wonder if I can do it from back here. Play piano. Play piano. Good girl. Good girl. But when I backed off just a little too far. Play piano. Play piano. Mm. Nope. I had to take Karen Pryor's advice and back up a step to get her back on track. So, after plenty more trials and about another half an hour of footage, here was the final result I got on the last night of Thanksgiving break. So it's cozy. It's 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Did you get that? Her recording? Her I, stretching? I mean, mm-hmm. You're recording? Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm safe. Okay. Play the piano. Very good girl. Very good girl. Not bad for both mine and Kia's first training session.